Debugging is a pain. If you're a developer, at some point you've needed to confirm that you were making the proper API requests in your code, or maybe your requests were working fine most of the time, but one user kept having trouble. Apogee's new debug console lets you dip into the stream of API traffic coming from your app as it passes through Apogee, which is invaluable debugging information. You can create filters to find exactly the messages you want to see, and then record a copy of that message as it passes through. For example, I use the Twitter API for a tool I created using Yahoo Pipes. Because I route my traffic through Apogee, I get analytics that tell me how my tool is being used in general, such as how it's trending through the day, the frequency of errors, and my favorite, where in the world people are accessing it from. In the last day, it looks like people from the US, Paris, Germany, Japan have all used my app. That's pretty cool. Now, using the debug console, I can dig into the raw traffic as it passes through. Let's start by recording all messages. Choose my API, start recording. Now, I'll go run my tool. Here are the first 10 messages that match. I can see the source IP, the status code, and then I can inspect the request and the response. The biggest pain I face is obviously with errors. Now, being able to troubleshoot a deployed app is tricky business, but e Apogee's debug console makes it easy. I'll set a filter for HTTP error codes, all errors, and start recording. Then I'll use Apogee's API console to send a request that usually requires authentication. If I flip back, I can see there's a 401 error, and if I look at the response, I see that it couldn't be authorized. You can also filter by IP address in order to debug a specific user's problem. I'll enter the IP address of my machine then flip over to curl to issue a request. You can see in real time in the console that got caught by my IP address. Lastly, you can filter by any headers. So if I create a filter for say foo equals value bar, or, or better yet, if I use the wildcard star and start recording, now it's only going to trap things that match that header. If I flip back to curl, this time I'll add a header, foo equals bar. You can see it appearing in the background. Uh, if I say foo equals foo, there it is. If I remove that header entirely, just make the plain vanilla request, that didn't get trapped. All these tools are pretty powerful. And this is our first release of the console, so we're really interested in hearing how we can make it better. Post an idea in our support area or email feedback at apogee.com. Thanks for watching.